What's happening folks and welcome back to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow. If you're excited for this episode, hit that like button, it really does help the channel out. Every like does help the algorithm find our, find our videos and subscribe as well to see more from this series and from Clear Mode and from normal Le FM Let's Plays as well. No, my Let's Plays never am normal, but they're also unusual about them, This is how I'm bad at the game. <laughs> so today guys, in case you're new to this series and you want to know what it's about, it's pretty much pretty simple. We look at some young talent on foot manager and we simulate five years, ten years, then a few more years, five using like four or five year increments, and we see how they're developing on foot manager. So you guys get a heads up for sign before you do both players that maybe were well known to be good players in, in football at a young age, and also those gems that maybe are not quite found yet and we can find them. So if you want to get involved in this series, in Discord, the section with the section there to put your request in there for players to look at. I will say this though. I've got a new method of, finding, of, of analyzing players, and I'm going to explain it in this in this in this, in this play here, with Florentino, Florentino Luis, um, where I look at the potential rating and make sure that um, they're going to be at a level that is worth you know being called out tomorrow. But we'll I'll always acknowledge your request and let you know what's going to happen with it. So, for example, Florentino Luis. So I've checked his potential rating on the editor. I've not changed it. It's at one seven two. So. What I'm going to do, guys, going forward on these views, if I get a player, it's like he's got a range of 140 to 170, so go forward between those brackets. I will put the potential rating on the highest potential of the of the range. So if it's 140 to 170, I'll give him 170. So I say if he feels like he can do against the potential rating that he can do, this is the player he could be. It's the best player possible we can get. Um, and I will obviously let you know what the range is before I do that. But I'll also let you know that. Um, I've given him the highest range, so you've got to see what the, what the maximum potential of that player is. Um, so, he's got a 172 possible rating. He's on loan at Monaco, though, unfortunately, which you can't get him first season for a transfer. Um, Second midfielder uh, can play box to box, ball winning. He's, I think he's a ball winning midfielder, um, maybe a box to box with the stamina he has. Good positioning, good teamwork, good concentration, anticipation. For me, those stats line up quite well to be a ball in midfielder because he, you know, good positioning and, and good anticipation and concentration and good tackling. It just, for me, it makes sense. Though a box to box could work, um, but I think I'd be leaning more towards a ball in midfielder, but everyone's different. Play DM as well in that role. I've, his player traits, um, he's got a weak left foot and a very strong right foot. He plays simple passes and brings the ball out from defence. So, make that what you will. I've done a scout report on him as well for you guys. Um, oh, I did, a, I, I, did a, I did a scout report on him. Um, I'm, sure I did a, I'm sure I did a scout report on this guy. I just, literally just did it. Um, okay, I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to swan I clicked on that. Um, be right back. Weird that, really weird. I could have sworn I clicked on it. Maybe it didn't quite go through. When it go through. Um, so as you see, as you see here, he's a he's got a cause he, according to my, my, my United Scouts. I use my I use my United Scouts, so it's a, the same thing all the round. Obviously, you can you have different scouts yourself, and maybe different um, ratings for the scouts. Three star current ability, three and a half star, maybe four and a half star potential. So he does have one seven two potential rating uh, locked in, no range. Um, Chris is a performer. Good timing charges, high. Basically, what we saw on the stats have been indicated in there. So the loan deal to Monaco has got no fee release fee in there, so meaning that they can't disagree fee um, and sign him. So most likely, based on the potential he has, I don't see Monaco affording him, but we'll find out. So first jump, guys. Let's see how he gets on. All right, folks. He's moved to Man City worth £73 million pounds and straight away what jumps out of this player is his mental stats. Insane for a 24-year-old, in my opinion. I'll, the physicality, not a big issue for me. I prefer to be 15 pace, but that's my personal opinion on that. Uh, wanted by Paris Saint-Germain. Saint -Saint his player traits, he's got uh, marked spawns tightly, big tempo, looks past around him to score, and stops play and plays short passes. This guy's bombing midfielder. I just think you you're missing out a lot if you don't play him in that role. Personally, but I do I do play that in my Real save. So we've got this far, guys. Check out the Real save. I do play bombing midfielder in that. Valverde. So um, just let you know that that series is still ongoing. Um, and yeah, 
Aiden Zeckling, 15 marking, born midfielder, nailed on. There's not even a debate on that. Look at the work rate, positioning, teamwork, concentration, anticipation, all amazing stats. How much did they pay for him then? £69 million. Pounds. Get your minds out of the gutter. Um, yes, yes, you. Um, so, yeah, five goals, ten assists first season at Benfica, then moved to Man, to Man City. Didn't play much, got three assists though. Next season, he got two assists, then he got six goals and two assists. But then again, like we said, if he's playing a ball, if he's playing a, D, if he's playing a DM role or, C, or CM as a ball midfielder, you're not going to get the goal returns from him. And the traits don't lend himself, in my opinion, to be doing that. So don't think this guy... This guy is not going to be a guy who's going to be getting you 20, 15 goals a season in the field unless you get an insane team that allows him to do that somehow. But he's going to be a guy that I think breaks the play up and just stops the counter-attacks and gets you going again. What's his injury record like? Um, pretty damn good. There's nothing now... Actually, now I'm perfect, really, to be honest with you. That's, ooh, got a stub toe. Oof. Painful. I don't know what that's like. Um, we all know what that's like, to be fair. So, yeah, very good player. Will he, will he stay at City or will PSG buy him? Let's find out. All right, folks, he's gone to Liverpool, which is very surprising. Um, didn't think he'd go to Liverpool if he moved clubs. Um, again, relatively same technical stats. Very good, still amazing mental stats. And the physicality has gone a bit better now. I like the pace in there, the stamina, the strength, and natural fitness. They're all good. They're all right. If I'm being nitpicky, nit 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 like the acceleration would be close to the pace. If I'm honest, that's my personal, personal preference for them more than anything. Any more new player traits? Um, nope, nothing new there. Injury record, relatively injury free, which is good to see because you'd have thought maybe with like there's a bomb bomb midfielder, he might pick up more knocks than he does. Um, just I've got the PSV and Ben Vicky on here, guys, and trying to watch keep an eye on it as well at the same time I'm doing this recording. Um, but yeah. Liking that as well. So how did he do at City then? So he got three assists, then two assists, six and two. There we go. Then four goals, nine assists. Then he moved to Man City, Liverpool for fifty-four million pounds. Got eleven goals and twelve. Assists. Okay, eleven goals, twelve assists. Then three and nine, and six and ten. So maybe they are playing box to box with him because if he's born midfielder, I mean. Interesting. I didn't expect that to happen. Uh, do figures for goals or assists or both in one in one occasion. That's interesting. And he's not overly expensive, really. Six nine million pounds, then fifty four million pounds. It's not overly expensive. And if you structure it in a certain way, it's a it's a pretty good deal, really, isn't it? So yeah, I want to see if he can do this again at Liverpool. Um, get double figures again for both goals and assists because he did it once. So he stayed at Liverpool, guys. Didn't move out of England, which is interesting. Um, and it's again, relatively the same technical stats. Mental stats still very good as well. They've increased a bit across. Physical at 32 is still pretty good. What is his development looking like on his traits? Still relatively the same. I like that as well. Uh, they're playing DM and midfield central. Again, that's one of the things I like about him is that he's got the duo kind of neutral, natural abilities for both roles. Injury record. A few more per point here. Um... Could be down to age, but I don't think it's anything to be concerned about overall. So Liverpool, did he, did he, did he crack? Do figures again. So three and twelve, three and ten, one and sixteen assists, and two and seven. So in the right, he has those peaks of assists in the right team. You could definitely do it. Um, I did say earlier on that maybe you can get Martin in, in a top level team and get those goal assists. But I like him. I love the mental stats. I do feel like you could play him. Looking at this now, in his later years, you could play him as a deep line playmaker because well, the passing's good, the technique's good, the vision's good. Yeah, maybe, maybe. However, um, I think you. I think early on when he's got the pace, box to box, maybe, but definitely ball in, a ball in midfielder, maybe deep line playmaker later on in his career, maybe. But I don't think you need to worry about that, really. I think he put, he's not very expensive. Great mental stats. Um, I think he's absolutely a, a general player. And he's, good news is, guys, good news is, guys, he's got a 172 rating. So, like I said, it's locked into that potential. So, he will, barring injuries, and you get him and play him and manage him properly, you should get this level of level. Of course, like I said before in these reviews, 
you guys getting involved personally with the development of a player will probably influence things one way or another depending on how you want to mold the player so thanks for watching guys um hope you enjoyed this episode again if you've got any requests guys put them in discord down below it's down below is the link there and there's a section called stars for more requests like i said i will check what i will check what um the potential is if he's not high enough i will reply or i'll do or, 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 or the play for a reason i'll reply to you if you have enjoyed it this episode hit that like button it really does help the channel out massively hit the subscribe button as well for daily from content one way or another and don't forget to check out check out second channel where there's an evil on there and my twitch channel down below as well which is live on monday wednesday friday monday is more likely to be friday saturday and monday i'm going to be live on stream uh barry my united games of course with united play i'm watching the united game so yeah um Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.